y'all welcome back to my channel if you like to hear someone talk about cats rats dogs or reptiles go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons down below because it's kind of what i'm here for today i'm going to make a video that i don't usually make this type of video on here but i'm actually going to talk about my dogs i have a few videos of my dogs like in an all my pets video or like there's a video years ago of tux that i bathed him in the kitchen sink or something when he was a puppy but today I'm actually going to do a video about my dogs and I'm kind of excited. It's going to be more of a first impressions and video of some items. I ordered them off of Amazon. So currently you can hear them um, experimenting with them right now in the back. I currently um, am single dog momming it up for a few months. My husband is going to be gone for three months doing some training for work. And I have two very high energy dogs. So I needed to order some things for them because there's not two people here to help me with that right now, me, myself, and my husband. So, um, and I work full time and my husband and I's days off are usually, there's one day that overlaps and then it's kind of split up throughout the week. So they're getting a lot more attention when he's home than what they are right now. So I'm trying to get creative and come up with more ways to stimulate the dogs. Um, obviously to make it easier on me because I'm doing a whole lot right now. And you know, I work 40 hours a week. I, um, <clears throat> I'm a mom, so I'm like working and keeping up with the house and all of your typical household duties and parenting and school and stuff like that with my kids. So it is just going to make things a little bit easier for me, hopefully, so long as it works correctly. I ordered these off of Amazon. I will link them down below. And like I said, I just opened them up and let them kind of test them out a little bit to see their reaction and see if this would be even a fun video. I think it will be maybe. Um, so I ordered them off of Amazon. I will link them down below and then I'm obviously not going to post this video until my husband comes home because I'm not about telling the internet. My husband's gone for three months. Come hit me up. So he'll be home already, which will have given me enough time to be able to leave a review in the description down below as well. More so of what I think other than just their first impressions. If I returned anything, because I did make sure everything was going to be free returns when I ordered them. So if I returned anything, if I just loved anything, I'll probably give it like a five star, you know, like a five star scale rating next to the item linked below or whatever. Um, sorry about that. So let's just dive right in and I will show you the items that they're down here playing with and let you guys see. So first of all, these are my adorable dogs, Tux and Delilah. This was one of the items that I got, which they were a little unamused by. However, they're giving it a lot more attention now. It's been down here for about 15 minutes. Um, I did put some little treats in there. I will say that I am going to have to take those little jingle bells out of the balls. Not cool. Not leaving those for my dogs. Other than that, I feel like it's worked really well. I'm not sure if whenever they really get into it, if the suction cup's going to work and be strong enough, but we will definitely see. I did make sure that Tux got the one that had two suction cups. Delilah's not much of a puller, so hers only has the one. Hey, don't be naughty. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's a cattail there trying to get into their new toys and he is upset about it. Let me correct this. Delilah has actually been giving this more attention than Tux. However, in this video, it definitely doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Okay, so these are snuffle mats, and one of the boxes describes it as 10 minutes of snuffle mat time is equivalent to one hour of running your dog. So I do know that working your dog's brain is just as important as giving them physical activity. So I'm hoping that is accurate. Um, but I am loving these. Again, this isn't something that you necessarily want to give them unsupervised because it is just like felt. These I found more affordable. However, they can get kind of pricey. I am going to try and make my own one day just to kind of make it a little variations of them. I'm super pleased with this. Um, this is looking like a win win, but we'll have to see how it works out over time. But yeah, I'm loving this. I'm loving watching them like use their noses, use their brains like they have to work for their food. There is nothing wrong with making a dog work for their food. It's totally okay to do. This one has a bunch of different little pockets and stuff too. It's not just like the looped up felt and stuff, which makes it pretty cool. 
I don't know if you can see this, but oh, no, she's not going to do it. She was so gentle. Yes, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. She was so gentle with this. Like the precision that they put to make sure that they're just getting the food. I just love watching their brains work like this. It's pretty cool. Now, this mat does have some suction cups that are supposed to suction down to the tile on the each corner. And they're not working as well as I would like them to work. However, it's not a big deal. I don't leave their food bowls down anyways. If this isn't something I would leave down unsupervised, so it'll get picked up whenever they're done. And I'll start feeding them dinner in this at their regular feeding times. And then the last thing I picked up was just a slow feeder bowl. I figured, you know, if the snuffle mat's gonna work to work their brain, I might as well get them one of these. Not because they're overweight, they're obviously very healthy dogs, but, um, just to kind of help stimulate their brains a little bit more. So I can start alternating out between the snuffle mats or the slow feeder dish and things like that at dinner time and their regular dog bowls and stuff. And that way, you know, it's always gonna keep them on their toes. It's just like whenever you're training dogs, you don't ever wanna do the same thing repeatedly over and over again because you don't want them to start anticipating what's gonna happen. So, or you know, the same pattern of the training and stuff. but. Anyways, I'm pretty happy with their first impressions of these guys. Comment down below if you think that there's anything else that I should be looking into. And yeah, let me know what you think.